hello guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to install a third row seat in a Chevy Tahoe this is by the way a 2007 police pursuit vehicle this is a regular police Tahoe that I've been customizing and, and upgrading it to a regular Tahoe what I've been doing is just putting the emblems over there here and on the other side and I installed it a uh, hitch that's that's not a that's a custom made from Kurt, so it's not a universal one. There's actually one for this Tahoe. You don't have to drill anything or be universal or anything like that. And I'm gonna be showing you how to install a third row seat. This is for a Tahoe Yukon 2007. 2013 or 14 these have two seats two rows of seats I'm sorry it's kind of dark already but uh, anyway that's the, the one in the front then the, the second row is kind of folded already because I was working on the my latches I'm gonna show you how many latches there are I went ahead and bought uh, Three of them, I took them out from a Suburban that it was totaled in a Jupulet yard, junkyard. So that's one, two, three. It only had three. I couldn't get the other ones because they were, it was from an older 2001 Suburban, so they only had three. One, one, and one, and then in the middle, and then another one over here. There was another one, but I couldn't get it off. So what I opted to do is welding. I basically I took a couple of long screws and welded them to the metal over here. So I kind of like mimicked. There's already uh, holes for the screws. If you are able to get out of all of them, or just buy them online because they're kind of expensive. They're like. 120 30 on eBay the whole set those over there they're double so there's is one like this one plus another one like kind of like a v-shape u-shape that one is the longest one and then is doubled as well and that one is double as well but I only installed it welded one so that's welded if you can see it it's welded I painted it afterwards or let me show you how it looks. Well, for for this one, the screw kind of got mixed, messed up, and I just welded it. But this one is good. And look, this one, I just welded it. Just a long screw. And it does the job, and as real stick to the frame. So in a case of an accident, there's gonna be we're gonna be fine for the seat belts and everything. Okay, so there's gonna be one, two, three, four. In case you're able to get a lot of these, just go ahead and get one, two, three, four, five. That one is kind of longer, so you need to get the original one. You're just gonna get uh, kind of well. Like a, this has like a piece of pipe. I welded it as well. But there's supposed to be two here. This is for the secure latch, I guess. But uh, I didn't need it. And that one is welded as well. So that was cheap. I did it like for about the three latches over here, original. They were like five bucks. But you buy them, if you buy them online from the dealer, they're gonna be a lot more expensive. Like. 50 or more but the three of them so that's a total that's all you need if you're if you can get them like I wasn't able and I didn't want to expend a lot of money so two four and four more that one in the middle kind of grabs both seats so I want to show you how to install already that's the carpet I still have to cut it, but I'm going to show you how it kind of latches perfectly. 
just align them perfectly to the holes like if you're gonna weld them like this one it's supposed to have a screw but just in the hole I welded it from the around and I was fine with that okay I'm gonna show you my seats I received them yesterday and today they came in two packages these were expensive it's, these are le leather around $650 I got them off eBay which is pretty good you can get them in a big city this is a small town but uh, in the big city you can get them for 400 300 even the cloth ones but I, got, I bought them online total of 650 shipped okay so I'm gonna be installing them this side only so you can kind of like see them there. Perfect. It's gonna make a pull it. There. You can barely see it, but it's right there. The third row seat, seat. I still have to do that one. As soon as I cut the the carpet from the top, this thing you just pull it off. That's it. There's no screws or anything like that. You gotta take off with a this cargo holder, but I just put a hole in, cut a hole in it, and just pull the carpet off. And then I have, let me see if I can get a clearer view from this side. Well, right there, that's a third row seat installed for very, very cheap. Thank you.